Well hello and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. We're back yet again in our snowy viking villages. Today we're going to be adding yet another build to the area. Thank you to everyone who watched the last video where we added a viking longboat and docks. But today we're going to be adding a viking stable. That's right we're going to build somewhere for our vikings to house their horses. But before we get into the build I'd like to say thank you for all your recent support. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And if you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up. So I was thinking of building our stable over in this corner but before before we build the stable I'd just like to add a little bit more detail to the village that we're making and uh, make it look a bit more lively. So I just wanted to add a bit more interest to the central area, we'll add a bit more later but for now I'm just going to add a couple of cooking fires and then I decided to add a couple of market stalls for our villagers to come down and sell their produce, whether that be fish, animal hide or crops. I textured up the floor a bit more to make it look a bit more trodden and it really makes the place come to life. If you have any more ideas on how we can liven up this area even more, then let me know down below. So next I'm just going to clear out a bit of space over here in the corner to make room for our stable. I would love to start expanding the village over in this direction and have a few builds on different levels of land and start creating weaving paths around to make it look like a bustling trading port. So let's give you a little preview of the Viking stable. So after experimenting with a few different designs I went for another pointed roof as I think it'll look really impressive from above when we have a few more builds in the village. We've gone for a, a two room stable with a fence area out the front and then I might add a little storage area on the side to store some bales of hay to feed the horses. So let's see what we're going to need to build the viking stable. So for this build we're not going to need a whole lot of stuff. We're just going to need some stripped dark oak logs, some stripped spruce logs, some spruce planks, spruce stairs and dark oak stairs, some dark oak slabs, dark oak fences and gates, some hay bales and some lanterns. So let's get cracking with the build. So for this build we're going to need a 15 by 7 block area so clear out plenty of room before you start. So our first step is to grab some dark oak stairs and place a row of 7 on each end of the stable like so. This will be the bottom of the roof. Next grab some stripped dark oak logs and build a 6 block high column in the centre of the stable just inside the red border. Do the same on the back leaving a 3 block gap between them. Then. Four blocks either side of our columns we're going to build a three block high column of stripped dark oak making four columns in total. Next we're going to go up to the fourth block on our central large columns and add three horizontal dark oak stripped logs on either side. Do this on the rear large column too. Then add another three horizontal logs to join the two frames up and then add another one on the front and the back like so. Then down the centre of the frame we're going to add a nine block long beam of dark oak strip logs and that finishes the main framework for the build. For the next step grab some spruce planks and we're going to fill in the two side walls and the back wall making sure that the wall is only three blocks high. It looks plain at the moment but don't worry we're going to be texturing it up shortly. Then above each entrance we're going to form two L shapes with some spruce planks and again repeat the pattern on the rear side as well. Now to texture up the walls we're going to replace some of the spruce planks with some stripped spruce and then to add even more detail we're going to add some stairs to make it look like some of the planks are missing, adding some age, history and interest to the stable. Next we're going to grab some dark oak fences and we're going to fill in the wall in between each stable to form a sort of barrier between them. Now for the roof, we're going to build up from each corner up towards the middle with some dark oak stairs using a right way up then ups, upside down then a right way up then an upside down sort of pattern. Do this on each of the corners and then simply join up the rows with more dark oak stairs to form that traditional viking roof that we've been using. Remember you can pause the video or slow it down if you need a closer look. Mm -hmm. 
Then on the peak of the roof just add a row of 7 dark oak slabs and then add another slab on every other block to form that crenellated roof lock. It's now time to add up a viking flare to the build by using 6 dark oak stairs on each end of the roof, placing them in a V shape like so. Beautiful. Now inside of the stable we're going to dig up the dirt and replace it with a combination of gravel and path blocks to give it a rough texture. Extend the texture out to the front of the stable and then we're going to grab four dark oak fence posts, place them in the entrances with a dark oak gate in the middle of them. Lovely. In the corner of each stable I'm just going to pop a composter in the ground and fill it up to its max, so it looks like a little trough of horse food. Then I'm just going to add a lantern hanging from the sticking out beam on the front. Then out front I'm going to create a fenced off area, this can be as big or as small as you like. Then I'm going to add various details like a pile of hay bales, some storage barrels, a cauldron full of water for the horses to drink and of course we're going to add some horses. Then I'm just going to extend the textured floor out to fill the interior of our fenced area. To the right hand side of our viking stable I'm going to clear out a little bit more room and I'm just going to build a simple storage shelter with some stripped dark oak logs and some fences as walls. We're just going to add a peat roof and then fill it with all of that tasty hay for our horses to munch on. Then to link it up with the rest of the village I'm just going to continue our path up the side of our longhouse so our vikings can ride their horses out into the wilderness quickly jump on them and defend our village from a viking raid. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, our viking stable is complete. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out and I think it fits really nicely into our village. Thank you to everyone who's been keeping up with the series recently, you're all amazing. I've loved hearing all your build suggestions so keep those coming in, keep them really inspired and keep me even more inspired by sending me in those screenshots of your viking builds, I'd love to see those. And remember to press that subscribe button so you don't miss the next in the series. So that's it for me today guys, thank you for watching, keep an eye out for my next survival let's play, that should be out shortly and until next time guys, tatty, bye.